Hey guys, uh, Minus and Haya here from uh, Pantheon Plus. And after we've covered our three uh, videos on the healers, the uh, Shaman, Druid, and Cleric, uh, we're going to have a quick little, uh, I'll call a little battle. We'll talk uh, between me and Haya, kind of each giving our own opinions on the classes here. Um, we're going to cover a couple different topics. We're going to cover one to two key mechanics or things about the class that stand out. Uh, we're going to talk about would you main it? Would you alt it? maybe reasons why and then we're actually going to rank the healers uh on our own opinions there so it's probably not going to be a very long video but uh you know also feel free in the comments this video to add your own thoughts uh hopefully we can get some people on our channel uh giving their opinions on it uh the same type of categories we are so hiya welcome to another video so the first thing we're going to talk about is uh one to two uh key mechanics or you know whatever we end up talking about for each class so what do you want to start with I wanted to start with the cleric. Ooh, okay. Uh, so go ahead, you can start it. <laughs> right, so one of the big things I really like about the cleric, and it, it kind of transcends video games that have the similar, is their increased effects with when dealing when, with the undead. Um, doing extra damage to them, certain spells have extra features when cast on undead. I just like that. It's good flavor. It's a it's a good thing for this class. Yeah, I almost put that down, so I'm really happy I didn't. It'd be really boring if we always said the same stuff. <laughs> we just agree on everything. Yeah. Uh, my other thing was there. They have a spell called Celestial Aegis, which gives you a big light shield that you can move around your play area, and it can block NPCs or block passages or certain things. I think this is a really reminds me very much of um, Skovald in in the one <laughs> Legion dungeon where you had to block certain abilities with this big shield, which was an activatable mechanic in the boss fight. Yeah, and taking that to a level where it's actually a constant mechanic, that is that is pretty cool. That's the first thing I thought of. I think when we did our first video, I jokingly tried to do his voice. Uh, two, two awesome things. Uh, Cleric, for me, was one that was the hardest to narrow down my favorite things about it, and we'll talk more about that in a little bit. So the first thing that I kind of wrote down is uh, just enough key support mechanics. Um, maybe overlooked a little bit. Um, they have Pacify for pulling. They have hate reduction for Edict of Peace in battle. So when you do have that uh, one member of your group that can't control his DPS or goes too hard and you're struggling to heal, you can do something about it by reducing their hate. Um, in a lot of games, that's typically a DPS ability, um, like a misdirect um, from a rogue. Sorry, yeah, yeah. Yeah, or um, what's the whatever the hunter one was. Um, so that's a, a pretty cool thing that I really like about the cleric class. It's a little different. And then just their mechanics of healing. So they, they really play through a, a direct healing style, but with damage reduction mechanics. An example of that is Celestial Light and the Light Shroud mechanic. So Light Shroud is... Um, a dot so you throw it on them that's just healing them and then celestial light is an adaptive heal you know you you heal somebody and if they're at a certain percentage of health they're actually going to get an armor buff and when you hit them with it it's going to refresh your dot um various things like that um and then various like reduction or shielding or or uh, redirect of damage is a really cool mechanic that really puts in my opinion the cleric into a real heal spot so i really like those mechanics of the healer of the cleric healing class the most i'll pick the next one let's go with druid i'll start off druid i'll tell you that and you're gonna laugh i think you'll have some comments here herode so that the pet mechanics seem very well thought out and interesting and right away i started to think about pet mechanics and i don't i don't play a lot of pet classes and as i say that you're probably like wait a second um because one of the classes when we met was blade and soul and i played a summoner and i think i said a hundred times that the summoner pet mechanics and the control that you had where you were you were literally controlling your character and you were controlling the summoner pet was the best i've ever seen in any game and everybody can make fun of the summoner class but uh, straightforward nobody's made a game where the pet mechanics and the pet control was as good as that i've never seen that and then you take something like final fantasy Fantasy that had the scholar class that's fantasy uh, Final Fantasy 14 I don't know if you ever saw that class but you had a little pixie with you that would do things and you could you could do a little bit with them but they were pretty passive but they played well into the class so I feel like reading about Herode that it's somewhere in between that it's not quite passive it has to be situation uh, situationally placed and you kind of activate different things about it so it has some of the summoner uh from blade and soul mechanics but then it, it it's not super overwhelming like blade and soul because blade and soul you're a dps class so you could spend that time to send it in and do things with it as a healer that would be a little too tedious so 
from a, a pre alpha standpoint here from very little detail i really really like um the the pet mechanics i, I it looks good i think the make or break for me is how it actually feels to play with this pet the Hirode. um if it's too tedious as a healer i think i would just skip out on using it or use it you know set it on my tank and never deal with it again those kinds of things that's that's my hang up on it yeah, I can agree with that. I think that there's going to be a lot of players that set it on the tank. Uh, and, and that's probably going to be the big difference, right? So that great druid healer is going to be the one who's yeah, just... Hucking skill ceilings and, yeah, using all your toolkit and all this stuff. Yeah, I really like that. And um, the other thing I really like is... Uh, and this is maybe this is a cop-out because I was reading through it. I was like, ah, what else am I going to talk about here? Um, the thematic feel of the class. I, maybe that's a bit cheesy oh, for I some. Agree. Yeah, right. So it, it, harnessing traits in the wilderness, the environmental effects, uh, building a bridge like it, it feels like if you're a druid in this game, you're part of the world. And and there's a lot of people who who wanted that in WoW, where they said, you know, I, I, what's my class fantasy? Um, we've only done three classes so far, but the druid feels class fantasy wise to be really strong. Yes, a step ahead of the others for sure. All right, I'll toss it over to you. No, okay. Druids being the poor class, um, they always were in EverQuest, and uh, it, it just makes sense using uh, rituals to go from one spot to another. My, uh, my other point would be I really like their Verdant Fire Tree, where it's um, basically your efflorescence from WoW Druids, but with a lot of added functionality and spells working with it, and the closer to the center, the more healing, yada yada. Really neat stuff. All right, so you're up. That's uh, Let's talk Shaman. Uh, Vision might be the coolest thing I've ever heard of for a healer class to have. Very much reminds me of the... Um, Shadow Priests, um, their thing, void, void Stacks, but for heals, which is really cool. So the more healing, the more active you are, the more you're going to be able to do. Now, this also goes in hand in hand with the more um, detrimental spells they put out, the better their healing becomes. So you're just going to be like this machine gun cast and spell, you know, healer machine. It's going to be... Yeah, Vision's pretty cool. I actually have a little bit on that, too. <laughs> and... Um, my second thing for Shaman is I really like how many and the versatility of their deep. You can slow them down, their attack speed, their run speed, their armor, their strength. You can basically negate a mob if you need. Yeah, we're we're pretty similar, which actually surprises me here. Uh, different views on them. Um, so I I talked about the dots as well, or, or the debuffs. I guess it's their dots, but yeah, they're debuffs. Same, yeah. <clears throat> yeah, I really like... I, it's not that I love how do I put this it's not that I love the individual damage that they're going to do or the fact that they're a dot I, I'm looking at this more as a healer um, directly like if I was going to pick these I, I would do it because I want to heal so I like the synergy between weakening your enemies to strengthening your heals which is the keeper of the elemental mysteries ability which is you know every offensive target that you have a dot on you're gonna get x um percent more yeah. per type yeah and that's kind of a sloppy way to say it but if you have your fire one out and you're you know you're gonna you're gonna buff your heels up i like that um again that becomes sort of like the druid pet control um that becomes sort of the high skill people um how well are they at maintaining their heals while maintaining their debuffs so that's pretty cool and then i have vision mechanic in there as well so the vision mechanic is awesome um Heal more, faster heals, become a machine gun, I agree. But I did put a little note here. It worries me tremendously about their mana spent. So without a support class or um, I just I don't know how that's going to be. So I could be completely wrong in saying that. I know that they get a little bit better mana regen. If you have an enchanter, that may change everything for you. But when I look at that, I love the ability. So it's a super positive, but there's a slight hesitance that I'm afraid they're going to burn through mana. I think there's kind of a counter to that in that they don't ever uh, lose their out of combat. Re so there's a plot like a, a counter, I guess you would say to, to that. But yeah, it, it is a concern. You know, I'm just going to blow all my mana in the first minute of a fight and be useless for the rest. Yeah. Okay, so good rundowns. Uh, I like the fact that for a cleric and druid, we were pretty different. Um, and then shaman, we really 
clicked on. So that's pretty interesting. A little bit different in the uh, thought process of it. But okay, so the next thing here, and again, anybody uh, that watches our video on YouTube, throw these in your comments, uh, give us your ideas. So it's, uh, would you play it? Would you main it? Would you alt it? So let's just go in the same order. You went with cleric first. Would you main it? Would you alt it? I would not main it ever. It's a little bland for my tastes. It just seems um, the least involved and interesting of the three healers for me. Would you alt it? Um, it would be low down on the list, but maybe later on. Okay, fair enough. Uh, for me, I would maybe main it. Uh, my heart in uh, Pantheon is pretty heavily set on the support classes, but uh, this would probably be not too far down my list of yes, I would main it. So I think when we talk about would you alt it? Yes, uh, certainly. I, I think I will have a cleric. Okay. I guess the easiest way to put it is this is as a big fan of a holy priest and wow, this is my holy priest. It's it's direct. Uh, it's it's focused 100% on damage. There's there's little mechanics like when you deal damage, you you heal a little bit, stuff like that. But it's really just like heal, 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 prevent, prevent, prevent. It feels like uh, here's a super nerd. I mean, we're already nerds, but uh, it feels like a white deck of magic <laughs> is exactly yeah, yeah. how they built this class. And, and that was something I play a lot of. So, yeah, I'm a big fan of that. All right. And I think we went Druid second. So I will say it. Um, no, I won't main Druid. And no, I won't alt Druid. Uh, as much as I was complimentary of it, uh, not my thing. Uh, I would not main it. I will definitely alt it. I might even do that earlier on as well. Uh, Meta game talk. Uh, Druid is a great way to make money in the early days of a video game. Yeah, the ports. That's, that is a great idea with the ports. Okay, so Shaman, you go first on that one. I could see myself maining Shaman. I mean, I'm most likely going to play Monk when Pantheon comes out, but uh, I could see myself playing this and having a lot of fun with it. So I'm no on main. Uh, I don't think I would ever main a Shaman. Um, and I had a hard time with alt. Um, I probably would not alt it. I like the class. I just don't Ooh. think it... <laughs> I like the class. I, I like how they set it up. Um, it's like the anti-bard. Does that make any sense? Uh, uh, Opposed. I mean, we, I know we don't know what Bard looks like, but if we look at what Bard is, Bard is about singing songs, buffing the group up like crazy, and they do it through the songs, and the group gets affected. And then the Shaman is sort of like, well, we're going to do that, but we're going to do it through hurting the enemy instead of focusing more on the group getting buffed. So, and I don't know how popular this is going to be. The Druid pet looks great. I have no idea why the Shaman has a pet. And if I had a chance, I would just remove it completely. I know there's some people out there like, no, don't remove my pet. Um, but I just don't get it. I don't get the pet with Shaman. Maybe you can convince me, but I, I don't get it. Um, so Shaman's like this, you know, wise elder dude in the tribe. And uh, he tamed a wolf. That's, that's, that's all there is to it. That's all it needs to be. <laughs> that's it, huh? <laughs> That's he, all it is, man, or a bear. It, it or a bear, it. yeah. It depends on the day. You know, he walked out, hey, this bear seems like a good dude. I'm going to hang out with him. <laughs> um, yeah, and, and I'm not... I, 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 I think if you watch the, the Shaman video that we did, and if you listen to what I said in this video, I'm not trying to say, I was actually pretty critical, I guess, in this video on the Druid and the Shaman, but I, I would be more likely to play a Shaman than that Druid class. I, I will tell you that the Druid class, for me thus far, in the short videos we've done, is is it's so distant to me ever even creating one. We'll see what happens when we get to more classes. But right now I could I could see Druid being the ultimate bottom class. It could be the uh, what is it? The 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 rogue for me almost of wow. Yeah. <laughs> Unless the rogue of Pantheon is the rogue of wow. We'll see. OK, so we kind of gave away a lot of that with that. But so uh, I'll rank them first. Uh, cleric number one. Um, cleric number two, cleric. No, I'm just kidding. Cleric number one, <laughs> shaman number two, and uh, we'll go druid because uh, it has to be. There has to be a third. We'll put druid there. And again, I'm not trying to crush anyone's druid loving out there, but uh, yeah, I don't. I don't see myself playing it. I think I think druid as a as an entity across video game is a, is a niche thing. Certain people just have to play a druid, right? Uh, um, as far sure. as my ranking, it's it's going to be shaman top spot all the way followed by druid 
followed by Twitter. <laughs> So you didn't say it in this video yet, but uh, so we were talking a little bit about these classes because you know we we love this game. We talk about it a lot while we're playing other games, while we're obsessed with Monster Hunter. Um, and I said to him, I said, you know, I really like this this cleric class. It's it really just like that direct healer. And what what did you call me? Just a boring bland. <laughs> I'm the boring bland healer. Yeah, you know, there's uh, I, th I think the healing classes are pretty cool. Um, I. I'm interested because the, this the overall comment of healers in this game is that each of these healers will be able to main heal. Um, it doesn't mean they're going to be equal, but it's not going to be like EverQuest where you had a cleric or you or you didn't have healers. They're each going to be able to main heal. But I I truly feel like when I look at um, I'm trying to think the druid, where are the heals? <laughs> like, <laughs> there's a couple. Yeah, exactly. Like, and they're both dots. Like, I mean, like a burst of heal, then a dot or, or some sort. Of, it's just if you're telling me that all these classes are going to be able to heal that pet, that pet better be awesome. Something <laughs> better be something else. Better It better be a cleric. <laughs> if, the pet, if the druid pet is a cleric, we're good. <laughs> we're good, yeah. All right, guys. Uh, so that's everything from us for this one. Is again not as long of a video here as some of our other ones. Um, please, if you follow us on Twitter, um, we would love you to subscribe to our YouTube channel. If you follow us on YouTube, please subscribe to our Twitter. Um, that's where we try to give updates. That's where we get your feedback. But please, in the comments to the video here, give us your thoughts. Um, so one to two things that stand out in the classes so far to you. Um, would you would you main it? Would you alt it? And uh, rank the healers. Tell us how you feel. Thank you, everybody. Hi, yeah. Anything else? Oh, thanks all for joining us.